What up guys, today I'm playing Bioshock Infinite and in this video guys I'm going to show you the first uh, Siren boss battle on 1999 mode and this is after the fact guys but I'm going to show you uh, where you want to go and you just want to come over here guys and even before you start the boss battle guys you want to come over here and use your um, shock jockey to lay down traps and even uh, the devil's kiss to lay down traps in front of the staircase and then go around and see if there's any salt that you can pick up to refill your meter and you're just gonna hide in here the whole time guys behind this coffin right here but before I get to the boss battle guys these are the uh, infusion upgrades that you'll find throughout the game again they're usually behind like locked doors so anytime you open a locked door make sure you look for these but the two you want to upgrade the first you want to upgrade is the shield and then the second thing you want to max out is your salt infusion and then worry about your health blast. You won't be able to max out all of these, but you should only max out the shield and the salt infusion first, then work on your health, in my opinion. Uh, so right here, guys, I'm going to show you the gear that I got throughout the game. Again, gear is uh, the pieces of clothing that you can find throughout the game. Again, they're usually behind locked doors or uh, in certain areas of the game so again as long as you look around which you should be doing anyways uh, you should be able to find these and you can go full screen to see what I have at this point and what I liked at this point um, but the best one that I have right now is the headmaster increased critical hit damage by 50% that's really good there's two other pieces of uh, gear that you want to get uh, one will uh, it says uh, when you're aiming down your side, it does 25% more damage, and when you're not, it does 25% less damage. I really like that one because usually I'm aiming down my sight. And then there's another one that uh, that refills your ammo whenever you kill an enemy. Not whenever, but um, every now and then it will refill your ammo, which is really good in my opinion. The two weapons that I used when playing on 1999 mode was the carbine and the sniper rifle. I upgraded those all the way. And the reason uh, I say use those two weapons is because you want to keep your distance from the enemies when you're playing on 1999 mode. And the carbine and the sniper rifle are the two best weapons to, you know, be at a distance and be able to kill the enemies pretty easily. Uh, right here is uh, the vigors that I upgraded. The shock jockey, I, will, I did max out all the way. It's really good. Um, just because it stuns the enemies and if one gets up close to you you can just shock them and it really doesn't cost that much salt as well so that's why I like shock jockey um, so make sure you max that out all the way uh, I did max uh, upgrade murder of crow once but I never really used it so I wouldn't suggest uh, upgrading that at all I did upg upgrade the uh, possession once I did that for more than I did that because um, not really for the taking over robots or gun turrets, but more for the vending machines. If I ever found like salt laying around and there was vending machines nearby, I would get the money out of the vending machines and then refill my meter. Because um, in the and when you're playing in 1999 mode, you really want to have money, like at least a thousand bucks, on you at all times, and then. The next thing I always uh, that I maxed out was Devil's Kiss. You want to max that out all the way as well. Uh, again, Shock Jockey and Devil's Kiss are the two vigors that I use the most. So right here, guys, I'm going to show you the boss battle. And when you first get out here, guys, I don't think she takes damage when she first spawns. So there's really no point of attacking her because she doesn't even have her uh, health bar over her head yet. So what you really want to do is just run in here. As you can see right there, guys, I had uh, my traps all laid out as well. And you just want to hide behind this coffin now. She might follow you in here at first, but she'll leave eventually. And then once she does that, she'll take a while to come back here, or at least for me she did. And what you really want to do is just, if you see an enemy come up, because usually um, I never really had one like come up the steps. I usually just stand right in front of the steps. So... It makes it really easy to uh, kill them. And what you really want to do is just sit here and really wait uh, until she comes back over here to start and start shooting her again. And again, like I said before, the two weapons that I use in this game was the carbine and the sniper rifle. 
when you upgrade the sniper rifle all the way it's pretty powerful and you can shoot it pretty fast as well so again like you see right there guys the enemies really don't come up the sets right here and I didn't really have that many enemies coming over here for some reason as well so I only had to, like a couple at a time uh, show up and try to shoot me and they're pretty easy to take out now I will suggest if you do have a carbine and a sniper rifle maybe take them out with the carbine instead of wasting your sniper uh, sniper uh, ammo on them because you really want to use that ammo to kill uh, the siren and again hopefully Elizabeth will you know throw you some salts every now and then as well or even ammo so you don't have to run out of here but as you can see guys I'm not really having too much trouble I'm not getting hit at all and what you really want to do is kinda maybe go on uh, the coffin or whatever it is and try to look for it so you can shoot her but eventually like I said guys she will come over here so it, it just takes her a while And again, uh, during this boss battle, guys, if you haven't, if you haven't realized, like your objective is not to kill uh, the people she's reanimating. You just want to focus all your ammo on her, really, because even if you kill uh, one of the people she reanimates, she can always just make them, uh, you know, respawn again. So you just want to focus most of your ammo on her. So again guys you just really want to stay in this room, uh, set your traps down so if you know, enemies do come over here they'll, you know, they'll be stunned and you can take them out pretty easily. And again like I said before guys it will take a while for her to spawn over here. Like, she'll come over here eventually but you just gotta you know, wait a minute or two before she shows up. And then when she shows up again just waste all your ammo on her. Don't really focus on the other enemies. And that's pretty much it guys. It's pretty you know, it's that easy and hopefully this video helped you guys out. Um I really hope it did if you're having trouble. This can be a really hard boss fight, so this is why I made the video to hopefully help, you know, someone out. But again guys, uh if you watched this video and it was helpful, uh again thanks for watching and I'll check you guys out later.